Hello and welcome back to the Symmetry YouTube channel. My name is Craig Snell and I am the Training and Support Manager. And today we will be looking at working with areas and fields inside of AutoCAD. It's a very, very useful topic and very much underused. I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you come back and visit us again to see some more wonderful tips and tricks on AutoCAD, Inventor and Vault and many other things as well. Hiya and welcome back to the Simulator YouTube channel. Um, today we're going to talk about finding areas out in AutoCAD and getting them to automatically f fill in inside of a table. Now it sounds a bit like black magic that, but it's actually relatively simple. So as you can see from this drawing that I've got here, um, a simple building, um, and what I've done, I haven't done all of them, but if I just turn um, the yellow layer off, as you can see I've just traced around some of the areas there like that. Well let me see, I'll just put that layer back on and I'll switch across to my layout tab that I've got here. So simple viewport with the full building in and obviously the areas there and I've got a table here which as you can see is I've got the rooms in there and we're going to fill this in with the areas. Now these are done by fields, okay? Um, so in this viewport here, I will just freeze off the outline so we can leave, just leave the the areas that are there. So they're just being done by tracing it around with a polyline, nothing extravagant or anything there. So back into paper space, and in here I'm going to insert a field. So fields have got a lot of information in about your file and other things. So if I just come down here and there's one there called object. So I can go and pick me object. So I'll pick up on that and I'm going to say the area is decimal. Press OK on there and it will put the area in, in this case in square millimeters in there. So I'll just do the same thing in the other ones. So right click insert field so it's automatically picks up from the last one that I did so I can go and pick object on that one press OK and go down to my next one right click insert field object pick that one and then go down to the next one insert field press OK Let's do it for the next one. Insert field. Click that. Press OK. And the last one. And I'll press OK on that one as well. Now, what we can also do, I'll get the table to automatically add those things up. So in here, I'll right click and I will insert a formula and that's going to be the sum of that there close my text editor down and it will add up the total area that I've got here now what is really nice about this is if those polylines change okay so if I just go into here and I'll stretch that out a little bit go back regenerate and as you can see the fields will automatically update cracking little tool so much underused as many of the things in the fields bits are I hope you enjoyed that and come back to the similar YouTube channel for more tips and tricks on AutoCAD and Venter and Vault thank you very much goodbye